Hi and welcome to the demo launch. Today we check out the ESP E2 M2 NSHS in black turquoise burst, though to me this looks way more like a very beautiful dark green. The E2 series are made in Japan and are ESP's medium price range guitars in between the more affordable Indonesian Korean made LTDs and the upper price ESP USA custom shop. This guitar has a three piece maple neck and a maple fretboard. The body is mahogany with a very beautiful quilted maple top and a matching headstock. The construction is set through, which means it's a combination of set in and neck through. So it's set in, but it has a very long pocket for the neck, almost like a neck through, but the sides aren't glued to it. It's really set inside the body. And this construction supposedly has good influence or positive influence on the overall tone, the sustain and the stability. And it's supposed to make the guitar brighter sounding. This construction makes a really smooth transition to the body here. And it allows for nice and easy access to all the higher frets. When you slide here, you don't bump into anything or so. The cutaway is placed at the 24th fret. So this is already easy. You have a back belly cut and this little bevel for your armrest and and you have the guitar like here it just sits perfect for all the technical and shreddy playing that you want to do with this instrument the guitar is actually surprisingly light especially considering that it's a mahogany body and it's not um, super thick but it's also not super thin so this is cool and it's also well balanced it's not it's not neck heavy or anything the neck and the headstock have a white binding, the body has a natural binding, the tuners are go-to locking tuners and we have a hip shot bridge. The pickups are bare knuckle aftermath tiger pickups and sound wise I would describe them as very tight in the bass region. The higher frequencies are quite bitey without being harsh and the mid range is focused and modern and the whole sound is very clear, clean and precise. Okay, let's hear how she sounds. I'm gonna use my Ref Generator 120, which is a modern, tight and precise sounding amp. Then we go into the two notes Captor X as my speaker simulation. Um, I also might throw in the Big Sky Reverb from time to time. Then it all goes into my Universal Audio Twin X interface into Cubase.
So here a little bonus, I'm plugging into this Mizabugi rectifier right now and this is a more muddy head, a lot of people use tube screamers or some kind to tighten it up and I found that with this guitar, with these pickups, this amp already tightens up a lot. So for people who have more muddy sounding amps and want to tighten it up, this guitar is already helping a lot with that. So. Okay, I hope I could give you a good impression of what the ESP E2 M2 NSHS in green has to offer. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Bye!